You're gonna fold your paper with the line side down, fold it in half. And the reason why we're folding it in half so we can get a symmetrical design. Now there's a line going down your paper. There's a line on either side. They're centered two inches from the center. That's gonna make it so when we open it up, you get four inches between the lines. And the reason why we're doing that is so we can have a nice stable base to build our pot. It also happens to correspond exactly with the line here. You see there's exactly four inches between these two lines on the banding wheel. That'll help you recenter your pot the next class. Um, now there's a couple rules here. Rule number one is that the line starting from the bottom, this is going to be the bottom end, needs to be going straight. It can't have a curve to it. If it curves out or curves in, it's going to have a danger of collapsing from gravity. A straight line is going to build it much stronger. The second thing is that it can't go way out right away. It needs to go almost vertically to start. And that is, again, because of gravity. If we went out right away, there would be all that weight pushing down and it would cause our pot to collapse. So we're going to go mostly up in a straight line. And then we want to think about our shoulder of our pot. We want that to be about higher than halfway. So this is about halfway. And our shoulder should be a higher than halfway for a nice dynamic base shape. So I'm going to start that line going mostly up in a straight. I'm using the natural pivoting motion of my arm at the elbow. And I'm going to go up. And the beauty of working with paper is if I don't like this, I can change it. Once I get past that shoulder, then I can work on some nice curves. But we need this down here to be sort of straightish for strength. I'm going to work on a nice beautiful curve. And then the lip of our pot, we want that to be at about the same two inches for a four inch diameter. So I'm going to curve out. Now the beauty of again of working on paper, if you don't like this, you can change it. Maybe I think this, this curve up here is a little too high, I can lower it slightly. And once you're satisfied, you're gonna cut it out. And you can open it up to see how you did. Now I like that. If you don't like yours, you can fold this back and you can change it, you can cut more or you can get a new, new piece of paper. We have plenty of them. Okay, and once you're satisfied with your shape, then you're gonna get some of this t-shirt cardboard. And they call it t-shirt cardboard because if you ever bought a t-shirt, oftentimes they come wrapped around this. And this is gonna give us a nice, stable, strong template. And you're gonna line up the bottom with the bottom of the cardboard. And you might think that you would wanna put it all the way in the cardboard, but we need the strength of this part of the cardboard. So I'm gonna back it away so I have a lot of extra out here. That's what we want. That's gonna give us something strong to hold on to. I'm just gonna go ahead and trace that. So this is gonna be our template. Now this negative shape is the part we wanna keep. And we're going to use that to help us guide the coils. Lastly, you're going to cut off this bottom little corner. And the reason why we're doing that is because we're going to go straight up on that first coil. And that little bottom corner will get in our way and we won't be able to check it. So for that bottom one, we're just going to cut away that. And we're going to start measuring once we get up about that level.